Good morning everybody. So today you have another comprehension task because it's really important that we're practicing both our reading and our answering of questions and our comprehension. I'm just going to help you a little bit today by reading the comprehension text for you. Then you're going to be able to either replay me reading it to you or <clears throat> you can go back and read it yourself but it's going to help you when you come to answering your questions okay so you're going to be looking today at chocolate which we've learned lots about in our last topic before christmas at school weren't we so this question is does chocolate grow on trees i'm putting my mouse where i'm reading here is some information about chocolate read it carefully then look at the sentences below Decide if they are true or false and tick the box. I think you guys put an X in the box. I've made it just because we can't get a tick on the computer. So, chocolate. Where does chocolate come from? Maybe you buy it in the supermarket or a local shop, but that's not where it starts. First, you need a hot, wet place near the equator such as parts of Africa and South America. There you can grow cacao trees. Each tree can have about 2,000 rugby ball shaped pods. Inside each pod there are lots of sticky beans which have to be left to dry out. Sometimes they are roasted. These are then taken to the factory to be ground down into powder ready to make chocolate. The factory could be across a vast ocean, nowhere near the cacao trees. At last, it is delivered to your shop. Okay, so that is talking about where chocolate originally comes from. We've learned lots about this in our history lessons and in our art and design lessons. We've really been looking at how to create chocolate and where it originally came from. In geography lessons, we were looking at the equator, remember that goes around the middle of the world, and we were studying Africa, weren't we? And we were saying it had a tropical climate, which means that it is both hot and wet. So now you have some statements to read, and now you have true or false. So you need to read the statement and then go back to the text or replay me reading it to you to work out if it is true or false and put an X in the box that you think it is. Okay, these are called retrieval questions because you retrieve the answer and then you state if they are true or false. Okay, good luck guys.